this is some additional inform information on uh, rotameters in general. Uh, the one I bought is called a reference rotameter and what that means is it's scale calibrated in millimeters from 0 up to 150. Uh, now what that means is you get the number of millimeters off of it and then you compare it to a scale which tells you how much of the actual gas that you're moving is uh, being moved in liters. Now uh, I had somebody tell me that uh, a little comment on my one of my uh, YouTube clips that uh, rotameters are optimized for oxygen. Well that would be true if the rotameter was optimized for oxygen then it's not of any value to you to, for something else. Uh, if you think about buying a rotameter you need to get a reference one like this. And they come in two sizes either 65 millimeters or 150. Now this one I just happened to get it off of eBay and I think I hit what I wanted with it but I also did a little bit of research first. So if you're not sure what you're buying, don't buy it. And the other thing I want to add is the uh, <clears throat> displaced water method that people are using with, with water bottles. That works just fine. And I'm not telling people not to use that. It's a good and expensive way to, to do things. It's just I got tired of getting my table wet all the time and trying to figure out what I had and uh, where it, with this method I can see what I've got at the moment I look and uh, it just it's going to work better for me but it's expensive this rotometer if you buy it new even with the scale you want you know the amount of gas that it measures at a time is expensive it started at hundred and fifty dollars just for just for this box without a valve and also without the the nipples on the back so they aren't cheap now I don't advocate going out and buying one unless you're just dead serious that you need it for what you're doing